Hi, Scott. Hi, Rebecca. How are you? Have you been listening to this? I didn't hear anything. Okay, That's good. Right. Yeah, unless you were, yeah, I didn't hear about what happens at the end of Mission Impossible Part 2. I didn't hear oh, what no. you were talking about. Dash it. <laughs> As star and executive producer, uh, how did you find this one, stepping back into TV after a few years in the film world and everything else? It is different, but I don't know if it's different because it's TV or because the environment had us on set all the time. You know, the films that I've done have always been in the most incredible locations, traveling, doing this, and it comes with so much uh, movement, organization, scheduling, children, family. Um, and this was just sort of much more structured. There was a location. Um, we finished when we were supposed to finish. Uh, there was, people listened. There was just like, there, there was something that just worked so easily. And it was just an incredible set and wonderful and kind. And it was it was quite fantastic, actually. Not saying I like it more or less. It was just like, oh, oh, this kind of just works. Yeah, no no pandemic or broken feet to, <laughs> to try and navigate and fit into your schedule. I mean, schedule. we had to navigate our own stuff as well post-COVID, but we managed. Uh, you shot in uh, a place that is very close to where I grew up, Hoddesdon in Hertfordshire, which is about 10, 15 minutes outside of where I used to live. Really? Uh, which I thought was, yeah. So do you know what the location we're renting from the refrigerator company that we made into the studios? I call it Hoddywood. Hollywood. Hollywood. There you go. <laughs> uh, it is, that must have been such an immersive set to step on. I was going to say, we spared no expenses, but we definitely did in a sense that we needed to be good, but it, it's absolutely enormous, the sets. Um, and yes, I have, but most of the things that we've done has been natural, etc. And if it's been really big, it's usually been some green screen or blue screen. We had this in this as well. Obviously, we can't do 152 floors, but it was so impressive and so much to work with, which is such a fundamental, wonderful thing as an actor, that you have depth, position, things to look at, things that are actually there, detail, the set designers. It was... I mean, it was phenomenal. And you got lost. You would get lost walking around. And we had three separate units. So we traveled with cars from one set to another because it's that big. I mean, it's yeah. really impressive. You've had big years before, obviously, and obviously because of the pandemic and delays and everything. 2023, you've got this. You've got Mission Impossible and June. How how are you enjoying being able to dip into all these amazing, amazing things? Are you looking forward to doing something a little bit smaller next? Well, I kind of felt like... The TV show was supposed to be a small, a small, a small thing. You know, Apple is kind of, is not small, but Apple's streaming platform is so niche and it's very good. And I just kind of, I've felt this feeling of familiar and contained and, but it's kind of blowing away and it's kind of it's big sets and it's huge cast. And I'm realizing that, nope, that's not the small one. Um, and yeah, I'm waiting, I'm waiting and I'm looking and I'm creating, but I also love working, you know? So I grab what comes my way and if I enjoy it and I wanna go on a ride and an adventure and, you know, it's not written in the stars. I, I shape my own destiny, so we'll see. Well, I look forward to watching the rest of the show and maybe our paths will cross when Mr. Cruz is back in town in July. Of course, I'll see you in about two months. That's about, yes, it's very close now. It's very close. We are so excited because that trailer was amazing. I mean, so, yes. To that. Thank you so much for your time. Pleasure as, as Thank always. You, Scott. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys. Hey, hey you guys. <laughs> hey you guys. <laughs> hey, that's what they all say. Hey you guys.